guys, um, I'm really, really excited to chat with you about how to travel more sustainably. As you guys know, uh, my Instagram is kind of travel, lifestyle, and eco-friendly living. Though I would say probably the, you know, part of my life that's not so eco-friendly is traveling. And I try to travel, you know, every three to four months to a different country. Um, I'll kind of chat in another video about why it's important to travel and kind of how to minimize your impact doing so. Um, but for this time around, I'm going to talk about how to minimize your waste while you travel and things that you can do to make it more eco-friendly. Um, and so just to put this stat out here, um, a round trip plane ticket from California to New York actually emits about 20% of the amount of greenhouse gases that cars emit in an entire year. So that stat actually really affected me because I do a lot of traveling. I go back and forth to the East Coast to see my family. Um, I try to go to Europe maybe once or twice a year. Um, and so, you know, thinking about that makes me rethink, you know, how I can minimize my impact when I am traveling and the things I can do to make the earth obviously a better place. Um, so I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about how to, you know, minimize waste when you're abroad and things that you can do to actually, you know, minimize your carbon footprint. So one of the things that I want to chat about is obviously bringing reusables. So if that is, you know, champagne, uh, shampoo, not champagne, or, you know, if you want, but uh, shampoo, conditioner, uh, in, you know, reusable, like, small uh, tube. That saves, you know, all of the plastic waste that you would if you were to get like small little things to constantly repurchase um, that are just kind of like a one use shampoo conditioner for your trip and then you throw it out. So uh, this is a nice way to be able to kind of buy in bulk if you want to go to a grocery store and fill up your small containers and bring that with you. A small part, but it does a lot. Uh, reusable water bottle. I mean, obviously this depends on where you're traveling. So if you're going somewhere that probably doesn't have great access to clean water, this is a little trickier. Um, obviously in that situation, you might be able to kind of get away with a filter or two. But if you're going to a westernized country, it's pretty, I would say that, you know, getting fresh water is pretty easy. Um, and so when I lived in Spain, I would always fill all my water up with, you know, from the tap. So I am going to Europe tomorrow and so one of the things I'm bringing is a reusable water bottle because not only does that prevent you from, you know, having single-use items on a plane, it also really helps, you know, minimize your impact while you're traveling and you never have to buy water. So pretty cool. The other thing that I would also suggest, um, so I have a few things I want to talk about. The other thing is reef safe sunscreen so if you think that you're going to be out and about in the water if you're going on like a tropical vacation um in my case i'm going to croatia so i will be swimming um i am bringing my reef safe sunscreen it is so important um there's so many chemicals in sunscreen that kill our environment they cause cause coral bleaching um really really unhealthy and it's one of the major problems that you know we're facing is just putting constant chemicals into our oceans so if you can minimize your impact on the oceans i would suggest then you know using reef safe sunscreen and bringing that over uh from you know wherever you're coming from if it's the united states um we have a lot of awesome brands here that um really do their part in making really healthy sunscreen so that's something that i always bring with me because you can't really rely on places to always carry something like that um, it's also important to preserve, you know, national parks if you're swimming in them or, you know, waterfalls or, you know, natural pools and obviously the ocean. Um, the other thing I wanted to chat about was, you know, using public transportation more. So my biggest thing is I, I, I like to plan. I definitely do like the spontaneous travel, but I do like to book like trains and buses in advance just because Sometimes they're hard to get availability, um, sometimes they're booked up, and then you sometimes default to maybe buying a plane ticket that's pretty expensive and or getting in a taxi. So what I, I when I go to Europe, I like to hit a few countries at a time, so I'm kind of on the move, which obviously isn't the best for the environment if you're jumping in and out of planes. So what I try to do is take buses or trains instead of having to constantly get back and forth onto a flight. So something to kind of think about, it's usually cheaper than you would ever expect. Um, Flying is also pretty cheap there, but in general I would say it's like 
maybe even half to 75% less if you take a overnight bus or a train to your next destination. Um, I think for the next one, I just kind of want to jog my memory, is I think this one's really important. You should invest in a sturdy suitcase because I have seen small, you know, general stores sell really, really awful, awfully designed suitcases that are meant to kind of go in the landfill after a year. They break, they fall apart. Invest in something that is going to last you hopefully a lifetime. Um, there's a few companies, I won't I won't name them on here, but there's a few companies that if you really do put the money in, you're going to get a, a suitcase that's going to last you a really long time. Um, think about all that waste that just goes right into the landfill. And, sorry, think about all that waste that goes right into the landfill and that can never be used again. So, something to kind of think about. Um, so I kind of touched on, you know, bringing reusables, um, reef safe sunscreen, taking trains and buses when you can, and investing in a really sturdy suitcase. Um, I think that those are probably some of the things that you can think about when going over there. Also, you want to think about your diet. So are you eating more vegetarian friendly or vegan friendly while you're over there? Um, that's something to keep in mind as our diets have a massive impact on the environment. And so... When you are traveling somewhere, somewhere, and even it, it's usually cheaper this way too. If you just put in more plants than you would, you know, eating a lot of meat, that's gonna be really, really helpful to the environment and really offset a lot of the carbon that you're already producing getting over there. So I hope that helped. Um, yeah, and I would love to hear your thoughts or anything that you would like to see or any tips or tricks on kind of how to travel, but in a sustainable way. Thanks.